in September 2019, a new standard-based curriculum will be rolled out from kindergarten to class six. This curriculum has drawn upon the best practices from all over the world and will focus on making Ghanaian children confident, innovative, creative thinking, digitally illiterate, well-rounded patriotic citizens, mathematics, science, reading, writing, and creativity are therefore at the heart of this new curriculum. The new standard-based curriculum places the learner at the center and then the learner manipulates with a lot of resources and come out with his or her own findings. And indeed, it is very good because as they go through, there is a kind of assessment which is the formative. Formally, we have to wait for a whole lot of period of time before they can be assessed. But this time, in course of learning, assessment becomes something like learning assessment as and then assessment for so we could see that these things have changed and it is a very good procedure and pedagogy in teaching um, having gone through all these strategies we were also introduced to something called the plc and that is professional learning centers this is where the timetable of the new curriculum is going to allow teachers to get some time on the timetable to meet as a group to avoid isolation of teachers so that they can share ideas and then develop their own ways and strategies of teaching. In a case where you fell short somewhere, as you meet, you can improve upon what you were experiencing and it can see you through the way forward and how to go. And then we can also share different learning experiences with other public teachers. With all these five days we've been here, I have benefited a lot from the science and with the methodologies, it has been of a benefit. I've gotten to know a lot of things, which when I get back, I think it's going to help the kids in a wide uh, area, the practicals about all of them, how to improvise, even if we don't have the real objects, to get the improvisation of, of the materials. So these materials that you used, which of them were you able to improvise okay. uh, personally and then, and, then, and then what was the outcome of what you improvised okay personally i had the respiratory system and so we improvised using balloons um muscular tapes empty bottle cans straws in producing the human respiratory system whereby we have the two lungs and then we have the trachea and the other things yeah, so I know with this improvisation, it's going to help the kids a lot and it will make my lessons very interactive and interesting. Under the science, Madame Olivia Opari taught us a secretory system by using items in our environment to make the excretory system. And I was very, very happy so that items in my environment yeah. or in the school compound can be used to make a secretory system. So it means that you did the practical working using locally produced Exactly, materials. exactly. Which means that we can do without by by exactly. Exactly. I was so happy when she taught us this. Initially, when I'm handling this topic, I find it very difficult to teach the kids. But through Mama Olivia Opari, today I have realized that. Uh, materials in my environment can be used to make a secretory system. One thing I've learned new here is a uh, preparation of my own litmus paper using the ordinary hibiscus flower and then uh, the, the filter paper. How will it benefit the Ghanaian child? Yes, in the home at least children will now learn that uh, there are certain things which contains acid 
and things which contains base. I want to thank the Honorable Minister, uh, Dr. Matthew Poku Prempe, for this initiative. In fact, uh, we will not forget the top officials of the GES come to the region, the regional director of education, and the facilitators. Uh, in fact, for science, one lady amongst them, uh, popularly Madam Oli J, uh, want to greet her. In fact, we've got enough. When we go to the district, we are going to work very well so that teachers can acquire this new curriculum and impact it to the children. In fact, we will work very hard so that uh, the resources that has been put together will not go waste. But the new curriculum that has been brought now is the best as compared to what we were doing. We thank the president very well. We are so much grateful to the Honorable Minister of uh, for Education, Dr. Matthew Poku Frempe, alias Napo, that's the name. Then all the other resource persons that we had in the region, we also thank the regional director. She has been so much supportive. Then Director General, he, he visited us here. The first time we came here on Monday and the opening, I realized that this is the best curriculum for Ghana. Because our both syllabus or curriculum was too theoretical and people could not relate to the world. So for this curriculum, I am praying that the implementation, in fact, will be the best so that this curriculum will do the magic for Ghana. We use just common baking powder and vinegar in the market to prepare carbon dioxide, which if we are able to do, we can even give it to our market women and to quench our fire in the market. And this is so practical. And the materials they are exposing us to are all around us. Sometimes you don't, there are no cost to the teacher. Sometimes they are very, they have less cost to the teacher.